Yeah. Stitch, what do you think of David Benavidez? I like him. You know, his dad, uh, I remember because he's trained UFC fighters and i never forget we're in, in London going to the weigh-ins and, and, and Jose, we're sitting together and he's telling me about his two sons. He goes, I mean, they're both going to be world champions and they're both going to be world champions. And, you know, been in this game a lot. You know how many times I've heard that. But, uh, Absolutely. you know, I see him in Vegas. He'll come train, train in Vegas. And, yeah, he's he's another guy. Long, tough, long, tall, and and a good puncher. What do you think his chances are against beating uh, Canelo? Same same as, 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 as Joe Smith. You know, as whoever contacts first. Because, you know, they're both going to come at you. Oh, yeah. And, and, and see... You know, see what the contact ratio is going to be for for either one of them. So it's 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 a give them fight, man. It's just uh, you just because Canelo is Canelo, you know, you know, yeah, you got to look at the logic, you know. And then yeah. you look at time, you know, uh, yeah, you just look at time. Yeah, I was telling someone about that. I was like, I, I would, I myself would pick David, but because Canelo has the experience and he's put in the time, you know, he has so much in his, he has so much going for him. Uh, when it comes to that fight, but I, I, Stitch, man, I look and I look, I, I watch the the volume of David, and yeah. I, I don't, I, I don't see anyone else doing that that would stand in front of Canelo like that. Like yeah. David, David looks like the type of fighter that was that's willing to go all out. Yeah, and you know his shots are laser shots. Yeah, and, man. You know, and and you look at you know, like say Joe Joe Smith has thumping shots. You know, he'll just thump you to death, right? And, and Benavides will just kind of cut right through you yeah he just breaks you down just just bust break you it up. Down. And, and i like what he said he said a knockout so I, did you i don't know if you saw, saw his interview the fight before last but he says knockouts are cool but i would rather you quit he said if you quit it's the ultimate it's the ultimate high for me if you quit i don't want you to get knocked out i want you to quit he said when you guys quit it makes me feel good i guess i i could understand his point you know that's that is a better victory than a knockout yeah I, I, I get to, yeah, I made you quit. I get I, I watched you go to your corner and say I can't do it no more. Or your corner had to stop it. Yeah, that's insane. Hey, you know, it's funny. I asked uh during this inter this boxer's nightmare that I put together, uh I interviewed Mike Tyson a week before he got his tattoos. But I said, you know, Mike, as said, every fighter has that one little thing that nobody in the world has that makes it a special fighter. What's that one little thing? And very simply he says, take the pain. You have to take the pain. And as I left, I thought about it. They said he's 100% right because you go through pain in training, you go through pain in your fights, you go through pain financially, yep. you go through pain with your family life. Uh, that's the life of a fighter. Yeah, you know, not you put... everybody's not everybody's going to make a living on this, and there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be hurt. Because you.